Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in the kitchen again and um, I'm going to be showing you guys the dinner recipe that I decided to make today. This is my first time making this so we will see how it turns out. Um, it's supposed to be, for all you Olive Garden lovers, it's supposed to be an Olive Garden copycat. So we'll see how it goes. I've never tried this soup at Olive Garden so I can't really say for sure but it's called Supa Toscana. So I'm sure you can hear it in the background. If not, I'll go show you. Currently, right now, I have some oil. I just put a little bit of oil in the pot, because this is what I'll be using the whole time, so I might as well use one. Um, and I put in some Italian, some mild Italian sausage, and I used a Walmart brand. Um, Old Fashioned Recipe Falls brand mild Italian sausage. And that's what it looks like. Got it at Walmart. Before I leave, it, it does ask for a pound of this sausage and you're supposed to brown it. But that thing comes in a pound and a half. So there's just going to be extra sausage, which is never a bad thing. So we'll be back next up. All right guys, so what we did was we have to strain it and while it's straining, um, I cut up some bacon and I'm cooking the bacon in the rest of the meat for me or rest of the grease from the Italian sausage. So it asks for eight strips of bacon, but the package had nine, so I just used it all. I sliced it up. It says to keep it in there until it's crispy. So we're going to do that um, and let the sausage strain itself out. All right, guys. So I just poured off the bacon to drain it, but I kept about one and a half tablespoons of the bacon grease for later. Now, in the residual grease, I'm cooking out some onion. The recipe says one medium yellow onion, but I am not a big fan of onions, so I only did half of one um, and diced it up and um, threw it in the pot. It's supposed to be sitting there for about five minutes. And then we add some garlic, let that cook for a little bit. And then we add, it's about two garlic cloves. Um, you could probably add more if you're a fan of garlic, um, which I do like garlic, so I took a pretty big clove. And then, there's the garlic right there. And then after that is in there, you put two tablespoons of flour, mix it all up because it'll help thicken it. And I'll get back to you when I do that. Okay guys, so I just put in the flour, sprinkled it on top, mixed it around, and that's what we got. Now, we have 32 ounces of chicken stock, and we're going to pour all 32 ounces right in here. I know, the whole thing, it seems like a lot, but this soup can feed six people. I'm probably going to be the only one that actually eats it. So that's totally okay, but I'll have leftovers. So now we got that. And then we're gonna let that cook. Look at that. It's just onions, garlic. Because you put the garlic in the last minute that that's on. Um, and then you put in the flour after that's five minutes is up and then you put in the stock after you pour in the chicken stock I'm gonna let that cook for just a little bit. I'm gonna wash these potatoes and I'm gonna cut them into um, like half So not really big bites, but they have to be bite size um, And then you put the potatoes in and then you let this boil and cook for about 15 minutes So we'll be back when those potatoes are in 
All right, guys, so this has been boiling for about, you're supposed to put all the potatoes in and make it boil. Once it starts to boil, you start the timer of 15 minutes. Well, it has been boiling for about five, so that's what it's looking like. We're wanting the potatoes to be fork tender. Once the potatoes get to be fork tender, then we put in a cup of heavy cream and half a bunch of kale. That's in bite-sized pieces. Ignore all my cooking trash. I'll have to throw that away in a second. Um, you also add in most of the cooked bacon and all of the sausage. Um, the rest of the cooked bacon goes on top after it's cooked. Once everything's done, because then that has to cook for about five, ten minutes, once everything's done, then you taste it, and if it needs salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes, then you add some, and that's basically it. So I will be back once I put all of that fun stuff in it, and I let it kind of cook for a little bit. See you soon. All right, you guys, so I just started the timer at 10 minutes for the soup. It actually is looking pretty incredible right now. I put in, I added everything, um, most of the bacon, the kale, which I've never had kale before, so this will be fun. Um, the sausage, the heavy cream, so now I'm supposed to let it sit there and cook for 10 minutes. Um, and then after that's done, I taste it. I can add the salt, pepper, and the cayenne, pe or not cayenne pepper, red pepper flakes <laughs> if I want to. And um, I also add in the rest of that bacon grease. Um, so that's going to be my dinner. Between you and me, I'll probably have the boyfriend try a bite. But the boyfriend's not a big soup guy, so I'm going to make him some grilled cheese. And that's our dinner plans for the night. So I'll see you when this is getting about done, and I'll show off what it looks like, because that kale's going to wither, so we'll see. All right, guys, so it is, the timer just went off, the 10 minutes. And this is what that soup is looking like. It is looking so good. And there's the grilled cheese. Um, so let's taste this and see how it is. It's pretty thick, which is good. I'm just gonna kind of go in here and get like a scoop of like a mixture of everything, maybe. Oops. I'm gonna bring this over here so I don't drip it on anybody else's food. It's hot. But it's good, it does need salt and pepper though. I don't have red chili flakes, so red pepper flakes, so I'll have to just stick with salt and pepper for now. But the potato is nice and soft. All right. So I'm going to do a little bit of pepper. I'm going to put the rest of this bacon juice in there. The bacon I used, by the way, was the um, hickory smoked. So, I was hoping that that kind of added some flavor to it as well. Alright. Turn the soup down because it probably does not need any more. All right, coming back with another bite so we can try it. This, you know, typically you get it at um, 
Olive Garden, and they always have the cheese option, so I'm sure this will taste really freaking good with some cheese on top, too. So when I go to eat it later, I'm going to put some cheese on it. Let's go ahead and pick this up. This one has some bacon in it. take the whole spoon because it's really hot. <laughs> That's better. Alright. So when I serve that for myself, because you know I'm the only one that's going to eat it, I'm going to put the rest of this bacon well, some of that bacon on top, and I'm going to sprinkle some cheese. Um, it might also be good if you take, like, a, a scoop of cream cheese in it, too, but I think that's how we'll do it today, and, you know, thanks for watching. This, uh, this soup looks really good. Um, I'll take a picture of the plated soup, and I'll post it at the end of this video, so... If you liked this recipe, let me know, and I can I can share it. Um, for the most part, I I did share most of the recipe, but like I don't think you know I gave sizes and quantities on everything. So if you're interested, let me know, and I can you know do that for you. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Till I get up Time is